Hello, hello, thank you so much for coming to the Sashiko live streaming. This is Atsushi. And this is the live streaming where I talk about Sashiko while I do the Sashiko stitching without any editing. So I'm not gonna do any lecture or any webinar or, or tutorials. It's gonna be just me stitching. And I hope you can bring some of your Sashiko stuff and then we can stitch together while I talk about some Sashiko stories. Let me check the audio first. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think everything is good. Um, if you could let me know the audio sound. I have been kind of adjusting that the microphone here and there. So I hope it's not that um, small or it's not that loud. Um, I hope that this is good sound volume all right i will switch the camera i will switch the camera where is the camera there we go and main camera where is the main camera there we go Oof. perfect the audio cold is good that's good oh it's Thursday night. Oh, Thursday night. It is very important for me to set up this kind of time frame. If I were, uh, for example, a few years ago, a few years ago, I was not setting any time to do the live streaming so i did the live streaming whenever i feel like it um, as the result it was difficult for me to keep offering the live streaming and it was difficult for the uh, for you to come over so it is quite important for me to keep offering the live streaming every week i mean not all the week but almost every week but the symptoms like for example, I'm extremely sleepy plus a little bit of a headache. I don't know why, but I think I woke too much today. So I usually would have not do the live streaming today, but I had a little bit extra sugar, which is making me a little high because I don't take the sugar well. And <laughs> I hope I'm not gonna say anything that I'm not supposed to say. But this is the live streaming where we talk about Sashiko while doing Sashiko stitching. Like, I cannot take this sugar. Like, I, I start sweating a lot. Is it? I, I don't know if it's the disease or something, but since I was a child, I'm not really good with the sugar. Like, I cannot. Uh, drink a can of coke like regular coke well probably one can might be okay but what well, two cans would make me go to really super high i did not know that until i came to the u.s uh still drinking the mountain dew <laughs> the caffeine and sugar for me at least around my environment it was not so common to drink sugary items when i was a child did, did i well of course there were juice well there was something sweet but um that's a really interesting topic we were not like it's not like the u.s where we can find a lot of um, sweet stuff. It was really difficult for us to find. Not a find. It is easy to find, but it's not really common to have the sweet stuff like the U.S. So, diet one. Diet. I. I can take diet one. Uh, I, it does not really make me feel hyper, but diet one is not my preference my favorite so i take just the uh, flavored sparkling water i like sparkling water so i would like to get a fizz but not 
not crazy. Do you enjoy matcha? Well, we probably have to talk about that too. No, I do not enjoy the matcha you think or the American thing or the what is defined in the US. I don't like that. Um, the matcha authentic. I don't want to say authentic, the, the, but matcha we think in Japan. I do like it, but it's not common to drink it that much. Uh, <laughs> but you know, that's not really the cultural change. It's more like a trend. Um, it's a Starbucks to start s selling the matcha latte stuff like that. So, uh, but in order to answer that question, I do like it matcha in Japan, but not in the U.S. Eat me. Your name is a little interesting. Eat me. I'm not gonna eat you, but it means you haven't been desensitized. I just had coffee for the first time in a month and it messed me up. I have ADHD and I try to save caffeine from really important things, but it, <laughs> it fries your brain. Caffeine is... I'm probably addicted to the caffeine too. Janet, um, the matcha, it, it's too sweet. In the U.S., the matcha became something kind of sweet. Matcha ice cream, matcha, uh, what, matcha tea, you know, matcha, matcha mochi or stuff like that. They, they, whatever I get in the U.S. with the matcha is extremely sweet to me. As a result, I don't really eat that in the U.S., but I do try to, well... I don't know if there's any places that you, we can get the actual matcha in Japan. You have to go to a specific place to drink that, I guess. I don't think we can drink that in the regular like cafe or somewhere. Same, I don't like the diet soda either. It's upset. My, my wife is allergic to those art, uh, artificial sugar. So it's really easy to find if that food has it or not. By her having it, we can... She's gonna get sick, so... Yeah, we're very... Sensitive. <laughs> I can't really hear you. Oh. Hmm. I think the audio... I'm gonna increase the audio a little bit, so... Try to be careful, okay? I will increase the volume a little bit. How about, well, it's probably not that difficult, different. I'll try that again. Mm. Oh, okay. Sounds good to you. Okay. Then it's okay. There's a local ramen shop in my area that makes its all much ice cream and it's much less sweet than what I find. Yep. And again, like it's not really the cultural things. Japanese made the matcha ice cream as well. And they're, they're a lot of matcha dessert. So... Technically speaking, I don't like the matcha in the U.S. Did not technically, generally speaking. What do you mean by technically speaking? Uh, but I do like matcha stuff in Japan as well. Not the matcha latte though. Is this better though? The point of this... The microphone is kind of reaching to the red zone, which means that the voice might go too loud. And I don't want that to happen. Hello, 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 hello. Mm.
how did I do that the previous time? Yeah, I think I, it's really, it is getting the old law. Hmm. Let's try this much. It's probably louder, I guess. I just realized that it's not a microphone's issue, it's my software's issue, which I really have to replace that this Thanksgiving. Ooh. I bought this computer like four years ago, five years ago. Oh my gosh, it's five years. <sighs> I'm um, sorry, like I changed the audio volume a little bit, so if you could turn down the volume, it might be better for you. Um, I don't want you to be surprised. There's no way it's too loud, okay. Well, too loud is probably like, um, breaking the sound. Which I can try to increase if you want a little bit more. The tea cold game my child like very much. Sometimes I find the other stuff too sweet. I did wonder though if ceremonial matcha had been Americanized. Um, I don't think I don't think that ceremonial ceremonial matcha has not been um, Americanized because they are a big family. They're a big family where families. They're, it's really, 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 very much structured to protect that uh, culture. So it's not the. It's we call it sado, and it's really it has became the way of art. So it's not really gonna be affected by others, since especially because it's very much organized, structured. Unlike Sashiko, Sashiko has not been structured. As the result, it is really difficult to protect uh, the way of tea, uh, where they drink matcha. They have their very strong, uh, like it's a kind of rules for that matter, some system that you have to follow. Because of that, it's very, very, very strong. Not a strong, really. Um, it's not gonna be American. It's not gonna be different. Just because, you know, Sashiko has been becoming something different just because they decided to do so. It's not gonna be like that in Japan. That's why I'm not worried about it. That's that's why I don't really. It. That's why I keep saying that it's not a cultural stuff. It's more like. It's not going to change the culture. I think that's probably the way to put it. Just a second. Just a second, okay. I have a little bit of back pain today. Well, I know why, so... Ah. <sighs> Sashiko is not gonna create any pain, but yard work will create a lot of pain. This summer didn't not really rain, so I did not have to do a lot of yard work. Of course, they are, you know, kind of bad, bad looking, but I did not have to do the yard work as much as I should. I usually would. So has been a long time since I've done that last time. That's why my back is a little messed. Konbanwa, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. I brought, sorry, I brought the topic today 
uh, which is the stitching and spraying. I have been trying to come up with the answer for the question, what is boro? And, you know, many people expect me to make very simple sentence. And if they, if they, I ask them to read, um, you know, numbers of stories, they probably do, but sometimes it's really not what they're looking for. So... I have been thinking, oh, I mean, it's not almost possible, it's not possible to explain what Boro is in one sentence, but if there's any other way to explain that well, you know, it's my responsibility to try. And, well, the answer, well, not answer, one outcome I came up with is the today's Instagram's post. And that's because of that, I think it is not okay to sort of completely change the meaning of the word without knowing it. I mean, if they know those stories and then if they wish to respect and then change it, I don't mind. And it's probably a, you know, regular change. But besides that, it's probably not the change itself. And those who were very, very upset about those, me talking about the change, they kept saying that culture is supposed to change. You know, two years ago, three years ago, it was quite big discussion here and there. I believe almost none of them, almost none of them. I don't, the reason I said almost is that I, since I do not really follow them, but I don't think they're doing stitching right now. So those people who are willing to change are usually those, hmm, sorry, those who questions the tradition or trying to preserve the culture, they really need an instant change. They would like to change the culture to their form for their convenience so that they can uh, enjoy it easier or for that probably appropriation happened there um just form of that but those who continue stitching they don't really try to change it they would like to they might be changing but i'm not really feeling that that's the change we have to worry about at least you know i want the sashiko like like as Lily wrote right now, I want Sashiko to be changed by people who actually stitch. In this cultural context, probably this Japanese culture should be changed by the Japanese people. Uh, that's probably the strict or um, strict definition of cultural appropriation. I do not follow that much. So, for that, anybody who stitch, anybody who, up, who try to learn, probably that's the way to go. Anybody who try to go there, who try to learn that, and then if they decided to change it, I'm happy to follow that. I can hardly hear you. Prob, anybody else? I have, this is pretty much the, I, I do not want to increase the volume from here because it's going to probably crack the audio. For fabric, are you familiar with Nuno Corp denim? And if so, do you like it? I have heard of it. 
No, no, Culp. Where was that? San Francisco? No. Who told me that? Oh, somebody told me about that. Probably Yoshiko Wada, isn't it San Francisco? <clears throat> um, I don't know. So <laughs> I'm not a big follower for the those fashion or textile industries. So I'm not really. I'm not the one who is who can answer those questions. Oh, thank you so much for everyone to answer that audio issues. I just finished two of my first Sashiko project. I have learned how long this craft takes. Oh, it does not take that long. I mean, of course we have to define long, but not as long as many people think. If you do it one by one, yes, probably, but that's not Sashiko in my opinion. Well, that, that can be, like, see? See, 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 that happens because I'm sleepy and then because Shiko high, I say something that I'm not supposed to say. It is Sashiko, it is Sashiko, but it's not the Sashiko I like. <laughs> Japanese culture changes much more slowly, slowly than others. Anyone who wants it to change it at their pace doesn't understand Japan. Yeah, well, we have you know, very, very unique history for that. So we, well, that's why it's good, right? I mean, I think that's why it's kind of attractive. That's why the Japanese culture attracts the other people because of that characteristic. Char characteristic. What's the point of? You know, following the Western mindset if it's what they want. I am doing patches and doing it through multiple layers of fabric. There's so many Japanese words which became sort of the English and probably I don't know why I'm kind of thinking about it, this word right now, um, but it, it, you know, you often use the futon, which is the in in the ah, in the U.S. it is the sofa bed, in Japan it is just the blanket or bedding is called futon. And what else did I talk about? No, wabi sabi. You, you know, we talk about those things a lot, but one I realized the one of the word which became completely different from not a completely. It is very much westernized in the sense of the definitions and understanding. The word is ikigai. Ikigai. Um, it, it is translated, it is introduced as the good word. And it is a good word, but it does not explain the whole picture of that again. It can be used as the propaganda. Um, it is kind of a fishy word if I used in the, let's say that, <laughs> like multi-level marketing. I don't know if you know those, like, you know, marketing. If I use it in the religious in the contents, that's really not good. So... <laughs> The point is that we use a lot of words and then it is perfectly ikigai, ikigai. There are tons of books uh, written. Up. I think that's that's that was my wife who brought it. She started using the word ikigai in our conversation. And I, thought, I thought, what the, f what, what did I do to her? You know. I did not teach that word, and she she kept using that word in the conversation. I thought that was something else completely different, but seems like that was the Japanese word, and I thought I did a horrible job introducing my culture. But again, that's I have not read all of the books. I have read probably few section of few books, so I'm not I'm not I am nowhere I am nowhere to criticize those translation. 
but I really want to kind of share one thing about those things is that it can be, it can be somebody's interpretation, something introduced from the foreign culture. If the author is, we, we really have to know who is the author, who is the person who is delivering the message. The being Japanese does not really qualify him or her to talk about those things. Um, being able to speak Japanese will, of course, help them to be qualified, but it's not the only thing. Studying the philosophy and going to the Zen temple may help. So... It's very interesting to see that how people can trust somebody, f somebody's interpretation, which may carry a lot of sort of the direction or ah bias. There we go. I'm not sure I have been looking. Yeah, I, I think Janet is talking about something, fashion, but I'm really not following any fashion industry, which is probably not good, but I have, I sometimes receive those uh, not a question, uh, no, not an inquiry, estimate request from the big brand, those fashion brand. And unfortunately, we cannot work with them because their cycle is very, very, very different from our cycle. At some point, I decided to even study those things. It's a completely different thing. It is the same thing as making the fashion something we wear. But we, in order to work with those existing fashion designer or fashion brand, it is, it has to be something very, very significant happen. <laughs> and that's not probably my work to do. The fashion exists based on the cycle, right? They are, they represent the culture, they represent the artistry, they represent their passion to wear. That's fashion. I mean, it can be more different definition, but uh, in order to have the fashion, it has to have a cycle, like fall season, spring season, you know. That's how this fashion cycles go. What we do is to make one jacket for three generations. I mean, we don't do that right now, but that's the original story. Three one jacket for three three generation, so the cycle is three generations versus twice or th four times a year. So it is of course not possible to combine those two. So uh, that's why the, the this topic is that that's the kind of excuse for me to not to follow those fashion brand or even manufacture for that matter. I don't follow any designers anymore. Do you know why? Because I stopped buying the, any other, any new clothes since 2017. It's like social experiment. Like, can I live without buying the clothes? The answer is yes. I, I received the gift, but I still, you don't need that many denim to wear. Before that, I liked fashion, so I used to, you know, check those fashion magazines, stuff like that, but... But I'm not really a regular person who is in the textile industry. Those are like, you know... I'm, I'm really outsider as the te for the textile industry, I guess. Why was I? Oh, hello, Lexan, Kumbawa. 
こんにちはかあ、well, I don't know why I stopped well of course it's a social experiment I don't think that's necessary to enjoy sashiko of, I really want I、uh, not really want to I appreciate the culture of changing the clothes for the different occasions and that's something we should protect as well so suit is important to wear something formal dress is important you shouldn't wear 10 years old suit if you're gonna go to big ceremony right uh what else there's a uniform and it's nice to wear something extremely new and i don't want them to ruin that experience so i'm not denying i'm not denying the importance of new design new fashion buying something new that's why i keep saying that's social experiment if i can do that without doing it and i don't have to go out much since i moved to the u.s i am not a business person that i have to wear those suit、uh, i i can wear my you know samurai jacket to go because i became the you know such called teacher so i don't have to wear the suit when i teach In fact, wearing something Japanese traditional sashiko looks, looking like, looks like uniform is better, which I can make and which I can fix. So, I am repairing my partner's pants that have holes in them, which her mother gave her. I hope we can pass these clothes. Down to our children, and I think that we use is beautiful. Yeah, it is, it is like that's the whole point, you know, of reuse, recycling, but sometimes we have to understand that the cycle itself is very, very different in a different culture. So, it is our choice to recycle or replace the fabric, right? Let's say pants. It is our choice to replace or recycle or upcycle or reuse. It's our choice. Choice. The choice comes with the power. <laughs> If there are anybody who is behind those decisions without the power, we really have to pay attention to them. Is it doing for them or not? So, I am not really going to say that not buying the new clothes is the good thing to do. I really don't know. And probably not. <laughs> That's why I don't recommend everybody to do that. Um, I shouldn't be doing that. At the same time, so the, get to the point. Get to the point. What I'm kind of trying to say right now is that I feel a little risk. I find it is kind of risky to completely focus on the mending and recycling, upcycling. It's a beautiful trend, and I. I am in the trend. I am doing that as well. And I think it's a, be it's a be beautiful thing to pass it down to the next generation. At the same time, we have to really pay attention who we are learning that from. And that goes to the conversation of cultural sustainability. So, like, you know, I, I agree with step, 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 slip.、Oh, sorry. It is our choice is very good. Like, not buying the new clothes is going to be a good 
choice for the environment if that become the majority. As of now, I mean, I'm not gonna say our choice is not important. Our choice is important, and I'm not asking it to give up. I'm, I'm just saying that it does not change the world that quick. And by going to the extreme, we can, there's a risk to break something else as well. That's what I see in Sashiko too. Like there, there are some people who are very, very upset with me that I use plastic. Like they say, like how could you use plastic if you're representing something recycling? First of all, I'm not representing something to recycle. I am not that. I'm not a pro. I'm not activist, activist, activist to say that we have to mend everything. I am doing that. I am doing it, but I'm not. I'm not really directing everybody to go there. <laughs> I use the plastic so that I can pre protect the thread when I have to deal with that. If there's any like water resistant paper which is recyclable, where which I can afford, I would consider that. But as of now, the plastic is the easiest and the safest way to deliver that. Of course, I can reduce it, but that's going to be based... But I can use all the paper material to ship it, but that's the customer's choice with understanding that if the thread gets wet, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be destroyed. At least they will lose the point of some Sashiko... They will lose some point of being Sashiko thread. So, if that's their choice, I respect that, but I don't want to make that sort of baseline, because I'm still, still in between slow. Is So we have to, <laughs> if we're going to appreciate the slowness, the change has to be slow too. I feel that people are rushing to change to be slow. And it does not make sense to me much. So I am keeping a lot of skipping a lot of messages. I I I, I, I keep thinking what would happen if our clothing supply was hit by the supply chain snuffs. That's a very, 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 very good question and please please let me know if you find that answer. Fashion industry is quite big, and I don't know if they can stop making it. That's what we're talking about, right? Stop making. Not even stop, but slow it down. Slow it down? Can they slow down? Can they slow down? If there's money to catch in front of you, can they slow down? I am reading a book by oh, Gabriele Sivin. Sorry, near future novel where there are no more new clothes, only the one ones left from before the supply chain broke. It's an interesting thought. It is. Uh, by the way, the Sashiko came from that area era. So don't get me wrong, Sashiko came from there. They did not have enough supply chain to su su supply chain to supply the enough fabric for the uh, peasant Japanese peasant or fishermen. Therefore, Sashiko was created. So it's from there. But we spend a lot of we as the Japanese, not me. We as the Japanese spend a lot of effort to get out of there. So it is the choice. The power of choice is the key here. And usually, and this is really usually, in general, uh, you are very, very, very powerful because of the language we can speak in English. 
English is really, really, really strong language to use to change things, change the world too. So I am counting on you. As a college student, patching and repairing clothes has become more trendy things to do, especially creating beautiful clothes reinforces this trend and promotes sustainability. Yes, exactly. So that's probably what your generation has to do. Phase two, and it's very, very, very. <laughs> I, would, I would like to use F word right now. It's very interesting, but the younger generation do respect this culture thing a lot. I have never, I have never, but trust me, I have, I have received so many nasty comments. Uh, sometimes you know, DM emails, not a phone call because I don't share the cell phone number besides my student but, you know I, I, I received so many of those nasty <laughs> nasty things in the last three years some of you know how nasty that was um, none of them are your age like none of them are the te te teens or twenties I don't know them that much so I they might be lying that their age but it's always good to hear from the younger generation so I don't really feel anything bad about your comments I'm just because I know that I don't know like those people who care about the sustainability sincerely will respect the cultural sustainability as well it comes together as a package so we have to protect the environments of, of everybody else is not really the mindset the next generation carry in my understanding but my generation and probably our parents generation we really focus on dualism right or wrong or even competition we have to win <laughs> i don't have to win but we have to kind of win in our mind i wrote it somewhere before but after i probably said it in some of the live streaming as well but after the industrial uh, industrial revolution you know after the england made the steam <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. After everything can be mass produced, the main focus, I mean, under capitalism, main focus we had is to be number one. How can we be the one? We have everything. The money, what money became, money makes us to compare each other very easily. Um, the more money you have, the more successful you are in general in that value system and that did not stop until very very recent now our generation now now like the people who live today with like not my daughter's generation she's seven she does not really think like the you know bigger world yet but our generation still thinking about diversity, difference. We don't have to be the number one. We can be the only one, right? We can appreciate to be the only one. So instead of being the number one, we would like to appreciate the difference. So diversity, the focus on the diversity changes our mindset to be only one from the being number one but I think next generation which is you or my daughter's generation they don't really see the difference now so the diverse the only one diversity happens because we see the difference we define that there's a difference yeah, right. So we see the difference. We def since we define that there's a difference, we have to say that we are only one. And the reason I keep saying that is 
why do we have to say only one? Like, what's the point of saying the only one if we appreciate the difference? So appreciating the difference means that we have to accept that there's a difference. And of course, we do have a difference. But at the same time, you know, there might be somewhere else that this not the place where the number one not, not, it's not the place where the number one rules or only one um, becomes everybody's theme it's probably the one or everyone pretty much everyone so thinking this wow it's kind of i'm not talking about george orwell so <laughs> george orwell wrote this as a fiction so i don't want to go there but not that kind of way. And I think Sashiko came from there because they did not compete. They did not see the difference, but they did the same thing all over. So I'm not really worried about the future for that. I'm just worried about now. <laughs> now, ongoing, or well, past, 10 years ago. And my job, my mission, my responsibility to that, uh, my responsibility is to leave as many stories as possible to behind so that the future will define what Sashiko was. It's not me who define what Sashiko is because it has been there already without definition. I just don't want the future the generation who do not know any Japanese culture or Japanese language to understand Sashiko as the things they do right now. It's not wrong. Again, the Sashiko introduced in English is not wrong, but that doesn't explain the whole picture. I don't think nobody's talking about number one, only one, and everyone in the Sashiko platform. But it is like that. The Sashiko was not made to be number one or only one. That's another reason I keep saying that Sashiko is not the art. Like, when do we not compare, when we do not see the difference? What is the point of being art? So, you know, there are a lot of things to kind of wander around. Therefore, I would like to make sure that change is slow. Not like this one tomorrow, which is happening again. That's why I'm speaking up. The much younger generation speaks of protecting the environment, but they are the largest producer of clothing that end up. Who? Much younger generation speaks of the producing. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't. I. I mean, I don't know the numbers. I know the people who I meet. So. It may be. Oh, now the re reaction. I think that is less because of the younger generation, more because of the fast fashion industry and the focus of the com companies on profit instead of quality. Well, probably we have to define what is the younger generation too. I might be in the younger generation category too. But there's no answer for those. Like we have to get out of those mindset that there should be the answer for that. There's no answer. We have to be okay with this situation. We do not have the answer. And that's that's the beauty of doing Sashiko too. So, <laughs> I say that Sashiko is the, no, the core essence of Sashiko in deep, deep down is praying. It's not design, it's not even stitching for that matter. Uh, praying, praying, like, you know, praying is the sort of the core of Sashiko. And while uh, while I was talking about this one in Japanese, with, with, while, uh, while I was talking about this with Japanese people, Japanese friend, but, uh, I kind of stood wondering, what do we pray for, though? Like, I say pray, and I think it's praying, but I just stood wondering, like, what did they pray for and what do we pray for? When we pray, what do we do? What do we do? What do we pray for? There's no answer for that. There's no answer for that. 
but one answer I came up with is that we try to connect things like today and tomorrow my feeling to happiness there's a tons of things but we pray when we pray for somebody or something we're trying to connect something and biggest praying is to to think for the others and connect those thinking and I think that Sashiko's what when I say like Sashiko's core value is praying we sort of connect things in stitching and that really get affected by animism and I have to really explain animism later on but by doing that we can sorry the core of Sashiko is the core sorry the we pray for connecting right we pray to connect especially the connect me to the future connect me to the past and we when we live in the dots the life of dot it can be little suffering so we try to dot those things i mean we try to connect those dots to make it more available and I think that they pray for connecting from the ancestor to the next generation or even the cultural stuff. If it's not the family thread, it, it can be something else completely. It can be culture, it can be ritual, it can be pride for that matter. Uh, we try to connect those things and then while connecting, I think Sashiko is the practice of layering those connections. <laughs> I wrote it down somewhere in a much better explanation. So I will write down somewhere, and I, I don't think it's a good time to explain those things. But we prayed for something, and I think Sashiko was the way to layer those praying. Layer the praying. Layer the praying? layer the plane, layer the brain, <laughs> come on! And ultimate result of those layering the praying, which is stitching, was called borrow, is called borrow too. <gasps> that's the, that's the today's topic. See, 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 thank you. I do feel more connected to others when I pray for others and develop more empathy for them and do Ah, thank you. That's that's very <laughs> that's that's what I wanted to probably say by saying dot. Conversation is one of those two. We talk to Sorry, like I completely missed the road denim conversation because I probably don't know anything about those. Do you think that raw denim will be produced more often than distressed clothing? I don't know. I guess I see young people purchasing ripped clothing in intentionally. I see waste. Mm, I personally, I personally don't see the younger generation wearing those things a lot my definition of younger generation is until the college so i might be wrong i i, I don't i really don't know anything about the fashion trend so i should really say anything about it but i as long as i know around me ironically road denim seems more popular with those who can afford the more expensive jeans Road denim seems more popular with those who can afford. Hmm. So Sashiko as the praying, and then sorry, it's Sashiko as the layering the praying. 
That's why the core value of Sashiko is praying. Oh, it's so difficult to explain that. And I, since I started this live streaming five years ago, six years ago, I keep saying that it is my wish to connect, <laughs> probably. I probably didn't use the word connect, but I have been doing my best to be friend and to make friend in Sashiko. So, <laughs> it's another advertisement, but um, thanks to the Maiko-san, we will be doing that uh, Sashiko gathering in English every month. And next one is sometimes in August. I think that's what, that was the third week of August after this live streaming. It is not ideal time for the European time zone, and I apologize for that. But we will try to make that happen at some point when we get used to this. So, if you can join, that'd be great. Uh, if you are the online class graduate or the Patreon supporter, uh, you are welcome to join the more like private session, which I will probably lose my ass. I may, I may take off my filter, which I usually do for the Japanese. I mean, I'm not filtering any emotions or anything. I just filter the word. <laughs> there are things that I shouldn't really say in public. I don't want to be banned. Or I don't want to hurt anybody anonymously. So, uh, if you register that, you should have received the link by now. So, I'll see you there tomorrow. If you need a link... A, I probably didn't put the link today here, so please go to the uh, last week's live streaming and there should be the link there. My 14 years old daughter is now wearing a pair of mom jeans, the one I used to wear in the 80s, with a high belly waist, so the old becoming new. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, um, perhaps it's people I see, but it has been a while. It, if it has been a while, it is not the younger generation I define, I guess. It is very, very, very new. Last, <laughs> let's say, in COVID. Around COVID. So the last few years, things are changing. Not like quick or not radical, but very surely things are changing. Not only Sashiko, but things like a value system. I don't know what it is, but things are changing. And I think that those distressed denim is the fashion style for my generation, which is about 30, 40 years old right now. 20, like late 20 or early 30s who were born before 2020, I mean 2000, 2000. Anybody who, not anybody, the majority, not a majority, the people I define here today as the younger generation is those who are born after 2000. And they are quite interesting to see. And I kind of, I'm very hopeful for that. I may have freaked out some of my friends by, like, younger friends. When I see younger friends, I can sometimes get too excited to talk about those, and I may have freaked somebody out, but I don't think that's the exaggeration. But we, we have to see. We have to see what's going to happen to see the actual result. Ay -ay. But my job is not there. My responsibility is not that big. My responsibility is very, very, very simple. I do not want to lead the trend. I just want to le leave, don't leave, right? Leave as many stories as possible with unedited videos so that I, they will be able to reach those informations.
ideally the Japanese who are who was born about 120 years ago or 180 years ago should have done this but they did not have video they did not have the internet they did not have the access to the audios so it's probably the time to do it and I unfortunately have that stories without within me and again I have to summarize it I would like to of course publish a book one day but at the same time summarizing it summarizing what I say might again filter some of those important messages that you might be receiving so it's not the ideal choice that I would like to make like um, if I have to stop stitching and if I have to stop writing this many stories I for the work for making money I would probably rather stop doing it all together or stop working on it I have done that already and I'm tired of it, so... Okay, one hour. As I said, I'm a little bit tired today. Not a little bit, I'm extremely sleepy today. A little bit tired, so I'll start getting ready to go. After finishing this much thread, I will go to sleep. Uh, if you're watching this as archive, please leave the comment if you have any questions. Um, so I can carry it to the next live streaming, which is going to be Thursday night, the same time same probably same pattern same stitching same person but a little bit different story I got to go I was that. I'm just so tired. I mean, sleepy, not the tiredness. Is nah. I'm mumbling. Gotta stop mumbling. Okay. Ah, I could have stopped a little more. Well. Thank you so much. I always appreciate your live streaming because I find it calming and really re relatable. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any comments? I try. If it sounds like arguing, I am not arguing. Just it's my English level. So <laughs> keep rephrasing that. I'm not really good at arguing. So. And again, English is really difficult. So. Uh, don't you think this thread is beautiful yeah, that's the photo i got from my mom and she got a request to take some of the her dying process photo which she has never done that in the last last 25 years but because of one well it's because of the one project that she sincerely respect and appreciate. She decided to share some of the photos and uh, professional photographer, we we hired, or actually they hired a professional photographer to join. And look at those. I wish I had that camera skill. Okay. Um, I hope you have a very, very good night. Yes, we see that is this thread.
Okay, um, I hope you have a good night for the Thursday night, and I will be, yeah, I will come back on Friday morning, which is the Japanese live streaming. Uh, if you can join to brush up with Japanese, please join. Otherwise, I will see you next Thursday. Bye-bye. Thank you.